So, uh, I just kind of like loaded in to Gala and I forgot we ended in the Waking Sands. And I was gonna go meet you outside, but uh, apparently they updated the Waking Sands so everyone's different places. And now uh, the dialogue is updated, so I have to read everyone's dialogue. Nice. <laughs> I've, already, I've already been reading a few. I got up to Ishtola. Oh god, do we read this out even though we're in different instances? No. Fuck it. I, I've already I've already read Wedges and his was funny, so I'm gonna go read his. And then meet you outside. Also yeah, Bix and Wedge are here now. I didn't fucking realize this. This is my what? Third, third third time fucking playing this game? God, I yesterday I finished a full watch of the Star Wars saga. Oh no. It uh, I don't I don't not like the the sequels. Like I'm I'm in the camp of like they were fine. Uh, I it's more I it's not that I don't like them. It's more that I see what they could have been, and that makes me a little mad. Yeah. Um. Like, double down on Finn being an ex-Stormtrooper and, like, do something with that. Beyond, like, a brief, like, oh, we're also ex-Stormtroopers in Red Skywalker. Like, literally, it's, it's literally, like, 30 seconds of dialogue that, quote-unquote, yeah. pays it off. Um, but it's, it's so hard to get through the sequels. <laughs> I, I just wish it was more about Finn. Finn was cool. I didn't even not like Rey. I, I don't like how much they tied Rey to fucking Kylo Ren. Yeah. Ray was okay. Kylo was all right. I he it was an interesting villain, but then yeah, they just focused on those two. I'm like, I'm I'm clocking out. I and think then they pull a drug runner for no reason in the third movie. Maybe I don't I don't remember the third movie like at all except for, they did full, except for the horses oh, yeah. except for the fucking horses scene. Oh yeah. Um, but that's the kind of silly I like in my Star Wars. So I'm not actually mad about that. Uh, yeah, honestly. But, no, like, literally, they're like, oh, let's take this, you know, um, Latin American-looking motherfucker and say that he used to run drugs. Uh, yeah. Great job, mm. Star Wars. Mm. All right, I am outside the Waking Sands. No, 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 I'm, I, gotta, I gotta remember how I spoke his wedge. <laughs> how the fuck did he sound like? What is this fucking onion-looking onion dude? I like it here. Uh, safe, hidden, a, a bit dank and dingy perhaps, but I I've known worse. Plus the receptionist was rather charming, don't you think? That's my wife. Don't you fucking dare. Uh... There are two Lawithel guarding the door to the Solar, and I, I, I swear one of them was Rogan in the last time we were here. That or I'm just is that tired. At three o'clock in the afternoon. I think you're just high. There we go. There we go. We did it. The first thing, so we're good. Where the hell are we going? I don't know. Uh, Sylph management. Gridania. Gridania. But it looks like we got a Papalin Juanita. <coughs> of course, I've I've been fine all morning. As soon as oh god, there's a lot of people here. Quick, get out of there before someone invites me to a free company. Can't have that. No. Hello, tall man. Thank <laughs> you. 
take him. God, I clicked through his dialogue like an idiot. God damn it. I gotta get back into the mindset. My apologies. We know far too little of the sylphs to lay any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the science once more if we are to... Uh, oh, beg pardons. Uh, Tis a terrible habit of mine to think aloud. Uh, but tell me, what brings you two to the otter's nest? Well, you know about the signs you ordered? We're not them, but we brought a carbuncle. Nice. Sir, sir, Mr. Blight? Per personal space for the poor man? Oh, dude's fucking going. All right. Except, oh, there's a cutscene. I think that was the cutscene that guy just blitzed through. <laughs> Hail, adventurer. I bid you welcome to the otter's nest. Do you seek to entwine your destiny with the twin otter? Oh, boy. Oh, God, how, what did you yeah. sound like? Morning, Commander. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. Ah, Hida and Papalimo. Always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men tell me you quest in the name of the Scions of late. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the Twin Adder was in need of your adventuring prowess. Aye, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the Sylphs, that curious beast tribe that calls the depths of the Twelve's Wood home. Uh, the Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceable bunch, much to the delight of the Elder Seedseer, who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The Twin Adder is of the same mind, and tis precisely for this reason that the Sylph's relation to the Primal Rama has raised a flag of warning amongst our ranks. Uh, friendly as they may appear, the beastmen will be beastmen. Should there be even a sliver of a chance that the summoning of the Primal might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Sylphic tribes, it is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better safe than sorry indeed. Um, do we strike at Rimmer, or leave the Sylphs to their own ways? That is the question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Uh, the opinions... <coughs> God damn it. Opinions abound within Gridania. But to listen only to one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the Sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where you scions come in. Uh, the Sylphs of Little Solus remain untempered and have held many a productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Uh, Sylphic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do to have any cross-cultural faux pas get in the way of a productive parlay. Mm, of course and, not. En route to Little Solus, you will come upon the Hawthorn Hut. Our officer stationed there can enlighten you as to how to win the Sylph's favor. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. Never. <laughs> A friendly palaver with the sylphs? It should be pleasant, a pleasant enough diversion. A Hawthorne Hut, was it? <coughs> Why, I believe the ferry departing from West Shore Pier should take us straight there. A friendly palaver, indeed. I hope this will be as straightforward as you say, Papalina. Nod. <laughs> yep. That's Yuta's voice. It's like a slightly south of... Nashu. I knew I did not do Papalimo right. No, no, honestly, there. I. It felt it, similar enough, which I it, guess is okay. It, you know, it's just me being hard on myself. It's, it, I hit the shrillness, but too often. It, his, the shrillness of his voice peaks, in a weird way, and I was doing it too often. Hmm. 
Right, Where I are think, we going? Uh, let's go to the Lancer's Guild because I think that's yes. People are rolling dice in the chat. For what reason? I don't know, nor do I care. Mm, Roll the dice. Hey. Lancers. I'm a Lancer. Terrible, terrible people. Not you, but. Mm. That's fair. Once I can, once I cannot be a Lancer, I'm not going to be. A yeah, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Once I can not be an Arcanist, it's kind of... I mean, yeah. Once I can have sword that is also gun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was thinking of the job, but yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, that that first. Alright. Mm. You want me to do it? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, the ferry docked at the base of the cell, carry you across the lake to the east shroud. Once you're ashore, head due east, and you should find the Hawthorne Hut without much trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. No, that's a shovel knight. So we just talk you know. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so we just We're talked to the, the fairies... lavender bed. Yeah, no, sweet bloom. Sweet bloom. Lavender beds is one of the player housing areas. I don't think they'll let us go there. Unless they change that. Uh, um, I was going to say, you know how I was talking about that weird wizard voice I wanted to do the other night? <laughs> yeah. So, there's a part of me that wants to do that same character, but instead refine my Werner Herzog impression and do that instead. Ah. But, like, that's never going to happen because he has such a weird goddamn voice that I would never <laughs> be happy with it. All right. Well, you know. We're outside of the city. We can actually well. use our chocobos. <laughs> good, good fucking timing. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I got bored. We got tiny birds. Let's stay on. The... Okay, maybe go this way. We're going straight. Okay, fine. Straight as an arrow. I'm past the straight. very dangerous giant tree. So, oh, God. We're going straight. Watch out for those magicors. Oh, he just went into them like a fucking bowling ball. We're going straight. <laughs> hear, the, hear the Wii Sports strike sound. I'm more thinking of the uh, Wii Sports Resort, the sound that you, uh, you, you get when you smack a bunch of people in a row with your sword in that one game. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Yes, okay. So, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but above Minion and Mount Guide, in the character Menu, there's mm. Companion. Companion. A lot of this we won't have to worry about for... I don't know how long, but if we go to Appearance, uh, we can actually change how the Chocobo looks. Granted, I think you only have the Lamincin gear. I have more because to fuck me, I guess. Can I change the color? Oh, let me click. You can change the color, but unfortunately, uh, we have to pay for the game. Yeah, you, they have Quack. to. Be, they have to be stabled in a house, and then you have to feed them fruits and shit. And it's oh, oh god, the math needed for fruits. Like, Jesus Christ. I don't care enough. I don't care enough. I don't. Mind the way mine one looks right now, so I don't care enough. All right, mine is purple. <laughs> so does this purple, and I love her. Mm. All right. Mm. 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 You gotta put this out of a purple chocobo on my head. I know. I, there, you can have it at any color. You can put it hot pink. No one can stop you. Purple is my favorite. All right, Ameline. All right, who gets Ameline? Uh, you get Ameline. That's what I've decided. Damn it. Uh, indeed, I am Amelaine of the Twin Anna. I understand you're here to learn of the Sylphs, yes? For all their whimsy, they are a weary lot. But particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. On their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. They have their quirks, but so do we all, no? Uh, would you know more, you'd do well to speak with the master of this hut, Rolf. He's forgotten more about the Sylphs than I'll ever know. I'm sure you won't mind me speaking about him right next to him. You should talk to Rolf. Rolf. <laughs> Rolf just looks up at him like... 
fuck you. <laughs> beekeeping. Interesting. Beekeeping. Oh yeah, there's like bee little like bee huts. That's a we'll, yeah. We'll go look at them. So the the beekeeping Hawthorne family. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, you want me to do Rolf? You take Rolf. All right, give me a second. Burden you with Rolf. Hey boys. What does that mean? <laughs> Life has many doors, head boys. I has many doors, head boys. <laughs> Come to learn a thing or two about the <laughs> face of you. No, no, no. Head boy. No, I'm not doing that. I can't. It's just, sir, it's just gonna fade. Sir, my name <laughs> is not, Bella, not Ed. Hey, 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 boy. You dare come to the son of a shepherd? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come to learn a thing or two about the Sliffs, have you? I'll tell you one thing. They're a peculiar folk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, let me just tell you. Oh, God, he's going to the song. They're, uh... Beg pardon, friend. My memory is just not what it used to be. I've seen much and more in my adventuring days, and it's all a clutter in my noggin now. Though I've shared my stories with those around the hut before. You might have more luck with that. Oh, there's so many people to talk to. We gotta go talk to people. <laughs> dialogue to say. Uh, three people. Let's, uh... Joaquin Phoenix! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly. Yisabel. Yisabel. Hello, Yisabel. Uh, uh, the sylphs. Uh, yes, father has told me his stories plenty of times. What I've always found most capitating is their concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. You do best not to underestimate them on account of their childlike looks, lest you fa face up and lest your face end up a mess of glyphs, squiggles, and chocobo scratches. <laughs> mm. Bees. Uh huh. Where the? Where, where are they? I I know they're here. Oh, we passed by them on the chocobo. If you look at the. Where are you? There's so much on the map. Oh no, there you are. There you are. They're they're further that way. There's like a piece of the map called the Honey Yard. Oh, we ran straight through it, didn't we? Yeah. Fold right through those honeys. Uh, how is my gear? That's a good. That's a good thing to ask. Uh, it's pretty good, but it could be better. Purchase. Bat battle gear. Yeah, we can buy gear if you want. Nothing they're selling is better than what I have. Really, I I'm seeing stuff that's better than me, but I have to pull out a stupid looking hat. Plus you know, all my gear is better than what they're selling. Do I go for the oh, dumb weapons, hat? though? Excuse me, ma'am. Do you do you sell books? <coughs> they do not sell books. Shield? Why are they? Oh, right. Because conjurers actually use shields. Yeah, it's a weird, like, holdover from 1.0 where conjurers can use shields because they didn't have, like, two-handed weapons. <laughs> and, uh, thaumaturgists use tiny little, like, one-handed wands. It's really weird. Ma'am, is your name pronounced Money? Yeah, we'll let's go with that. My, money. The Sliffs? Inveterate tricksters and troublemakers, that's what they are. One day they're drawing more bold faces on our masks, and next they're sending our young sentries falling to the bottom of a to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop and they just laugh at you. Rolf claims they harbor no ill will, but I dare say such pranks are no laughing matter. You keep calling them s s Sliffs. Whatever. <laughs> Slips. What the hell is a vivandier? Vivandier? No idea. <clears throat> Hello, Blizet. Bowsette? Oh, no. I'm sorry, but you're in the castle. 
Actually, a really catchy song. <laughs> it is. Oh god. The quickest right. way to a quiver woman's heart might be through her stomach, but don't even think of trying to foist your foodstuffs on a sylph. They sustain themselves simply by bathing in the sun. Well, so Rolf once told me. Interesting. So Vari. They're plants. All right, Rolf. Are you seeing sylphs or cabbages? Answer the question. Yes. He's dodging it. Oh, of course, of course. Your story is, well, my stories has brought the memories flooding back to me. I feel... I feel like dancing. Oh, God, he's going to burst into a song. Yes, nothing brings people together <laughs> quite <laughs> like a little toe tapping. A sylph told me long ago that dancing is a time-honored greeting among their kind. You'd do well to remember this. It just might help win the favor of our forest friends. That was such a pointless mission! <laughs> yep. Can you imagine they cut down on a realm we're born? <laughs> can you imagine there was more of this? Because I can. I live through it. Alright. Oh, still here, eh? Great! There's one more thing you should know about the stilts. They don't take <laughs> kindly to guests who show up empty-handed. To earn that trust, you do well to bring along a, uh, uh, drat. What was it again? My wife Rose and I were just speaking of the matter not days ago. Forgive me, friend. Speak to Rose at the comb. Her memory should prove more reliable than my own. A gift. He's gift. looking for the word gift. Gift? But what kind of gift? Good lord. The cold. It's fucking foggy. Of the 80 parties currently recruiting, all match your search conditions. Yeah, because I haven't set any. <laughs> Omior at check. That's a weird name. This guy just has a normal ass name. Leonard Martinez. Leonard. Oh, yeah, there's some, uh, there's some beehives. Bees. Bees. Right, you can do Rosa. Oh, jeez. A peace offering for the sylphs. Uh, look at anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey. But I fear that wouldn't get past, get you past their front doorstep, near, dear. Uh, no, their tastes run more to the unusual. Are you... A chance familiar with milk roots. Uh, that's what we call the roots of the most fiendish seedkin, the ochu. Uh, when chewed, it exudes a cloudy liquid that's said to induce curious visions in the imbiber. Uh, you'd not catch me dead trying this stuff, but this stuff seemed to enjoy it to no end. I've not seen an ochu around the comb in quite some time, but I did encounter a suspicious clump of grass the other day. Pretty stimulated somehow. With some of this e amber syrup, for example, you might be surprised at what comes out. Uh, good luck. That is a. Uh, I'm going this way. That, that like that was laden with euphemisms. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm a child. You're <laughs> I'm, like 35. I am a 35 year old child. It's like fucking Baby Yoda. He's <laughs> older than. Him. I, I can guarantee Gala has repeatedly used that shtick. Mm. Going up to fucking batter on it, the drowning lunch, ordered like five drinks. And then at the end I was like, well, see, I already, it's past my bedtime, I gotta go talk to my mom. And he's like... Stupid. Fucking dumb bit. I don't like it. Oh shit! Girl, but don't kick ass! Truth, truth, oh wow. <laughs> Dead before I can even start popping my combo. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what happens when we're eight level, eight nine levels above what we should be. Yeah. Milk root. Milk. 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 Milk like it's got an e. 
Melka. I love her to death, but it's... I can't help but make fun of her for it. <laughs> Milk. 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 M-O-L-K. Darth Milk. <laughs> Darth Milk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a character in fucking... The Old Republic, I don't know. There you are. Ah, you're back! Was my wife able to direct you to a suitable offering? Mm. Root. Milk root! But of course! Those sylphs quaff that cloudy stuff as quick as I do a flagon of mead. The effect's just about the same as well. Any road... A gift of milk root will have the sylphs calling you friend and brother the moment they lay eyes on it. Now let me wrap that up for you. I'm starting to feel a bit woozy. What is wrong with this guy? I don't... I don't know. Maybe there's a reason there's an outer's officer right next to him. Sir, I what is... I don't feel so good. Oh, we gotta talk to him again. Gotta talk to him again. This is the rest of the game, just talking to Rolf Hawthorne. Mm. I'd buy it. This is how I spent 3,000 hours of my life. I have taken the liberty of wrapping your milk root well and good. This should keep it nice and fresh, not to mention spare you from that god's awful stench. The sylphs love the stuff, but me, I'd rather bury my nose in chocobo dung. I dare say the reek even rivals the breath of the morbold that put an end to my adventuring days. But I can tell you that story another time. You've more important matters to attend to today, yes? The Sylphs are an eccentric bunch, but I've shared their company enough to know they're a kind at heart. They'll not shun one whose intentions are true. May your parley be a f f fruitful one, friend. And do stop by on your return. There's a flag and a full flower mead with your name on it if you'd regale me with your adventuring tale. <clears throat> Ah, and before I forget, don't go traipsing off just yet. Emmeline here would have a word with you. Travel in safety, friend, and do pass along my regard to the winged one. Now we're just, now we're just doing the same thing. Uh, it's good to see your knowledge of Sylphic culture has matured. I see no reason to delay your mission any further. Upon your arrival at Little Solus, seek out a young sylph by the name of Kumuxia. He has served as an intermediary between our peoples on many an occasion, and has the close ear of his tribe's elder. I see that Hawthorne has furnished you with some of that melodorous root, the sylph Sarador. I have something of far greater import for you to deliver, a missive from the elder seed seer herself. Uh, well. To summarize the letter's contents in brief, it vouches for the integrity of our envoy, that would be you two, and restates Gridania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship with our long-standing friends of the forest. Uh, the war with the Ixel has taken a toll on our resources. We can ill afford to get mired in another conflict. I need not impress upon you two any further the importance of this mission. May the Twelve see you return with good tidings. Well, are you ready to meet the sylphs? I mean, I think we already met them when we did the Easter one, right? Maybe. Those are the people we were scaring? Yes. Hmm. 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 Let's go around. Wait a minute. We can do better than this. <laughs> we can do what that guy did and just... Whoa. Big ugly plugs. Bored. The f fuck are those things? What? Gorlin? Yeah. That is a turkey. Gorlin. That is a murder turkey. That's a, it's a ziz? Ziz. Mm. 
the silly music. All right, you get to do the first of these things. Oh boy. Ugh. Walking one is not familiar to this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might be a different story. But this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one be. Right, we have the dance. I'm alright with that. Do the wiggles. I'm trying. I'm trying! Could have sworn it was right here at the top. <laughs> Just type it in! <laughs> there you go. Do I have to let Leo? Yep, yeah, because then he'll talk to you. Oh. I clicked through it. Ah, damn it. You're, you're doing the voice I, I know, anyway. This one would welcome walking one who moves like these ones. If walking one would talk to this one, this one will answer, but this one is a busy one, so walking one should speak with quick time. Cool, thanks. Walking one would bring gift to this one? Oh, walking ones are most kind. Have the root and some reading material. Walking one brings milk root. Milk root fills this one with great joy. This one gives thanks. thanks. Gives many, many thanks. This one's gonna go get high as a fucking kite. See ya. This one is gonna go get schnozzled. <laughs> Walking ones carry message for elder one? Oh, this one will deliver the message to elder one. Walking ones should not worry. Ah, hello there. Uh, we're envoys from Gadania, and we're here to treat with your people. Hi, we come to pay our respects for your elder and to learn more of your Lord Ramu. Who are these ones? These walking ones come from Gadania. <laughs> yeah, you want to try that again, Kamuxio? No, this yeah. one does not. These walking ones come from Gridania? Walking one became a dancing one and brought milk words. But walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks. This one no. will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. Uh, could go home, you say? Uh, but the selves of little souls always welcome Gridania and envoys with open arms. Wings. Yep. Same thing, Papalimo. The letter carried by uh, by these two here is an oath of peace penned by the Elder Seatsia herself. Do you will refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of walking ones. Elder one has no words for Kadani. Walking ones waste everyone's time. Wait, my yeah. time? I never turned away at the gates. What did we do to deserve such a rude welcome? We're... These two's jigs insufficiently jiggy. Oh, like. Don't refer to it as that, Yida. Please, never again. I'm as. Oh, I clicked through it. God damn it! <laughs> I started talking and just like a click. Click. Uh, I can't. I, I can't do a proper proper emo. Just leave it on screen. Pause it if you need to read it. Click through. Go. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and okay, all right, that's it. Oh, jeez. What the fuck are these? I'm gonna want other potions. The I potions, the like, what, do I drink these and I get, I fall asleep? Probably. Maybe? I wouldn't mind spending a little time paralyzed. Maybe. Alright, yeah, cool. He a... This is your fault. Hello, Ida. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, say, uh, Gala, Etheridge, uh, are you in the mood for dancing? That's right, dancing! You went through all that trouble to learn the self's traditional greeting, but you've hardly greeted any of them. Why, if I were a self, 
I'd be beside myself with delight to see an adventurer expressing an interest in my culture. Uh, me? Uh, of course I'd be happy to j <laughs> There go those bloody lance leg cramps of mine acting up again. I'll uh -huh. just stand here, you know, on the leg cramps. I'm gonna kill her. Not if I do first! <laughs> Alright, you take this one. Good luck. This one is weaving cloth. Walking one would no more. This one does not trust. Walking one do not show respect. Ah, oh, fuck. I <laughs> gotta dance. What was the end of that dance? <laughs> yeah, it's just a... Yay! Walking one would be a friend to these ones. This one is overjoyed. But this one keeps the ways of weaving a secret. Even if Walking One learned the secret, Walking One could not weave in the same way. What does that mean? I think they're telling us we're too white. <laughs> Alright. Dance. <laughs> oh. Isn't there dialogue first? Uh, no, if you actually just dance, you, you skip it. Oh. Oh, walking ones knows Jolly Dance. Jolly Dance fills this one with good cheer. Let these three be friends. Cool, thanks. Hmm. I will surely remember you in the times to come. <laughs> when the Empire comes ravishing at our front doorstep, I shall remember... What the fuck was your name again? No, Lexia. Yes, I shall remember you. <laughs> Time to dance. Dance. Dance for the onion, child! Excuse me. The Cabbage Patch Kids. Ah. What does Walking One want with this one? Elder One warned this one not to get too friendly with Walking Ones. Oh, you didn't, you didn't clog on him before dancing. Gotta I dance told again. I could skip that bit. You could, but you have to, like, left click on them, then dance, not right click and then dance. Ah, Walking One is a friend to these ones. Friendly like gracious Elder One of Forest City. Knows how to dance into these ones' hearts. Carbungle, you have to dance. Alright, vibing is good too. He's very good at vibing. Mm. <laughs> Notice what up can around he do? you. Uh, yeah, no, you can, uh, if I go slowly, you'll probably, yeah, look at it, look at those taps. <laughs> those are some taps. Alright, Ida. Ida. Yo, Ida. <laughs> Yoda! Oh, Yoda? Oh, jeez, it's back to baby Yoda. He's named Grogu. Ah, uh, Gala, Etheridge, <laughs> would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is that your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all of Little Solace. The better news? Why, I've thoroughly recovered from those accursed leg, leg cramps. Onward to our next adventure. Never speak to me again or you will be having leg cramps. Cooler Popolimo. <clears throat> ah, you too. As adventurers, you're no stranger to helping distressed folk, I'd wager. Tales of good deeds are quick to spread. The adventurer who comes to the aid of the local populace can go from stranger to hero overnight. Overnight, just say overnight. No doubt you see what I'm getting at. The sylphs make their home in little solace, do so having been driven from their woodland home. Surely they have their fair share of troubles. Seek out troubled sylphs and see what might be done to ease their worries. A sound plan, would you not say? That said, the sylphs, sylphs fucking, <laughs> are not known to share their worries with outsiders. You would be better off inquiring with Hera Emedia of the Gridanians who reside here. She is most likely to be privy to the sylphs' troubles. Oh, you're all right. Ma'am, we come 
bearing uh, work. Help. Words. Alright. You want me to do this one? Uh, nah, you've, you've been getting a lot. Praise be to the elementals. I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart. The sylphs of Little Solus are solely in need of aid. Aid, uh, pray hear me out. Well, good news, that's why we're here. Uh, being a temporary settlement, Little Solus wants for amenities, not least a south set of defenses. Consequentially, beasts from moms around are free to wander in and terrorize the hapless residents. Uh, the Ziz Gorlins and Gall Nats roam these parts are especially troublesome, but slaying each of. S f wow, I cannot speak. Holy shit. Uh, but slaying one of each should, should serve as a warning to the rest. Furthermore, perhaps you could gather three brownie bushes as well. Uh, they play an important role in Sylphic culture. I do not claim to know the details. And what with such feral beasts prowling the forest, they are not easily come by. When you are done with the deeds, seek out Kamuxio. He is slow to warm to outsiders, but your good intentions will not be lost in it. My own experience speaks of this. Time to go kick some ass. Oh, and sis, Gorlin. Bird, we're having bird meat tonight. Throw lands! Throw lands! Throw lands! I killed it. I killed mine. Now what? We go south. We walk from here. To grab uh, bushes of Brownie. Brownies. There's another one. That weevil is boring, apparently. Yep. Oh, there's a lima. I don't like that thing's eyes. I can see into her ether. They know. I don't know what they know, but they know. They know everything. Hmm. I'm surprised it's leading us this far down. So, uh, you see that thing to the south? Let me get out of the fucking fate music. What? This, this thing? No, no, uh... Over here. Oh. Yeah. That is a Garlean uh, fortress. Oh. Past there leads the lands to Alamigo. Throw a spear! Oh! Hey, get it? from a world mob. Good work. His mouth gotta be like that. <laughs> huh? What the fuck is that? To the east. I... I oh. What just happened? What are you? Oh no, it's just named Melt. I don't like that. I went like into the forest, and that reminds me of the weird flesh abominations. Mm -hmm. That I've been fighting in that with Chris. Don't like. Let's leave and never speak of it again. Mm.
Hello, Kamaxio, who hates our guts. We bring you gifts. <coughs> oh, it's fuck. I love how I immediately forget how voices are done. I love it. Dancing one is still here? Dancing one can dance all night. This one's trust is not so easily earned. Yeah, good news, we have mushrooms. <laughs> Legend says that Eorzea was once inhabited by a race of tiny creatures called brownies, and they would use the spores of this particular mushroom to paint their faces for battle. Hmm. Hmm. Dancing ones bring brownie bushes for this one? This one can dye thread once more. This one is pleased. Dancing one kills bitey bussy one? This one hates, hates, hates bitey bussy ones. Dancing one is kind. Too kind. Many walking ones come to these once about, but few are friendly like dancing one. Perhaps this one was wrong not to trust dancing one after all. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, see? Yeah, we're helpful. We're, we're uh, what's what's the word in office culture? Gopher? We're moles. Wait, no, that's wrong. Rodents. No. Also wrong. Rats. Uh, uh, this one asks dancing ones for forgiveness. Uh, these ones have had many troubles since walking ones last came to our abode. This one must be careful. Always careful. But a dancing one is not like other walking ones. This one can trust dancing one. This one would ask dancing ones for help. Strange walking ones with bodies of steel come to the homes of these ones. This one thinks steel ones come from Empire. Uh -huh. Where Empire goes, many living ones become dead ones. Trees fall and bushes burn. These ones' homes are in danger. Danger! This one begs of dancing ones to help this one no more. Dancing one is friends with these ones and walking ones, yes? Dancing ones must speak to these ones and walking ones in hothouse and find out more. This one has bad feeling. This one fears steel ones are after something. But this one should speak no more. Let go of dancing ones. This one depends on kindness of dancing ones. Oh, oh god. I okay. forgot how intense the self speak. You guys you guys gonna hang there? No need to overthink things. So long as your heart is in is in it, the self will understand you. Yeah, cool. It doesn't really work the other way, Yida. Thanks. That is a tipsy self. What <laughs> I just look in the corner, there's a level 45 tipsy self. <laughs> self? Self. Sliff, sliff, slip, left, left, left. It's not a word anymore. It's not a word. It ain't a word. Lefaxio. You take him. Trash, trash. This one says, Steel walking ones are scary like touched ones. This one hates scary, and scary ones have scary friends. That's the voice I imagine nice. for somebody with the name Lefaxio. Lefaxio. Oh, cool. I was going to bring you into the area to the west but uh there is a fate that is level 40. nice <coughs> you uh, can take it I, I yeah um, honestly, you can take it actually maybe with the two of us we might but mm, carbuncle no no carbuncle Carbu the, yeah a bonkle you taylor i require new threats I don't. Nothing you don't better. have anything. Better. Check the weapons. Uh, I, there's, there's, I can't equip it. Oh, it's a type of war. That's why it's Nothing better. better. Cursed me being a lowly magic user. Can't fucking wield a sword. Elixir. Elixir. <laughs> Strange steel walking ones? Oh, yes. This one is seen. Yeah, walking ones carry big boxes. Maybe walking ones hunt for shiny treasure. This one likes treasure. 
Back to the hut. Back to the hut. Did, did we get the fucking Aetherite at the Hoth or not? I don't remember. I don't think we did. Oh jeez. Oh god, sense. the birds are angry. I don't think we did. We got the yeah. chocobo keep, but we didn't get the Aetherite. Look at us. We're smart. Oh, we'll get it now. Mm -hmm. By force. Sure. But on the way, let's talk to people. Hello, Victor. 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 Fear some types, flat head to toe and steal, you say. Imperial soldiers, no doubt. Couldn't tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it's nothing good. All right, Victor. Next <gasps> it's Florida. money. Of course, money. Money. Hit the eighth, right? Who, who had money? I don't remember. You did. Ah, uh, jeez. Every time. Oh, I guess I did because I can't. <laughs> you got it. I didn't. Ah, uh, jeez. Is that right? Well, I just click it, right? Yeah. If it brings up a menu, you're already attuned. Huh. Well, good. It's uh, it's rubbing off on you. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Me, who hasn't had to attune to an etherite since November 2021. I'm getting more powerful by the moment. Oh, God. Soon he will clip. Men clad in strange armor. Well, I announced that you mention it. I did see some suspicious types of late. They were gathering deep the fullest. I simply assumed they were adventurers. Yeah, and that's why you're here. Foolish. You're a wood whaler. You should know what garleans look like. Well, there's your answer. She's a wood whaler. Mm. Sure. Welcome to a playthrough where we constantly dunk on Gridanians. Because it's canon to the lore. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. The state fucking garlands! Keep aggroing the ziz! Eric and Lexio, we have, we have come bearing knowledge. This one is happy to see Dancing Ones return. What did Dancing Ones learn? This one sees. Steel walking ones come from Empire. Carry boxes and go walking deep, deep through trees. As this one thought, steel walking ones are up to nasty, no good things. This one knows for us well. Steel walking ones try to hide, but this one will find them. This one would borrow dancing ones mouth. This one makes my uh, right here. This is where steel ones hide, this one knows. Dancing ones will go looking for steel ones, yes? This one will not join because. Yeah, look at me. This one is made of cabbage. Made of cabbage? Alright, we are at like the 52 minute mark. Yes, we are. Uh, you wanna finish this quest out? Yeah, let's go. Let's take on the uh, Garleans or lack thereof. Chocobo! Mm. Chocobo, you go first. You go aggro to this. Go and do it, metal man. Ah, fuck. Where are we going? Kinda where are we going? I don't oh, know geez. the direction. We're going th th this Kinda way. Kinda the direction. Yeah, the southwest. What a vicious folks. Uh oh. Nope. Okay. Yeet. Oh no, Cohort Aquarius. No, not the bug! Oh, Cohort Signifier. Yeah, you take care of that. I'm just gonna hit this bug with a book. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, the suspicious box. Suspicious box. That's uh, something that's translatable. I don't know what. Bumpies. I don't think so. 
but you don't know either. I mean, I can find out. Eorzean is translatable. Z I got that Ziz Gorlin Riz. Never utter those three words in that sentence ever again. I hate the concept of Riz. It's so dumb. Uh, it's language, man. Language changes. We're old. We're getting old. <laughs> we don't what understand I... what's hip with the kids. We cool. never did. Yeah, no. Ah, dancing ones is back. This one breathed sigh of relief. This one was worried. Hmm. Dancing ones found something? Oh, a certain imperial stronghold. Hmm, wonder where that could be. Mm. Dancing one found paper. Found paper inside of box? This is message from Empire. This one can read walking on the symbols. Message paper has names of food and rocks. Food and rocks were inside boxes. This one knows. But this one does not understand. Excuse me? Oh, I'm in the fate. I'm in the fate, too. <laughs> the food and rocks mentioned all come from home of these ones. How do steel walking ones know to find them? Is there sneaky one hiding behind this one's wings? Snooping ones selling secrets to steel walking ones. This one fears for this one's home. But dancing ones has helped this one much today. Dancing one must promise to always be friends to these ones. Hmm. Ether. Took... Alright. Alright. Uh, that's a good place to end it. Yeah. I we guess. Finish with the cabbage. We'll have not finished because we're not done with the. We'll know when we're done with the cabbage patch <laughs> kids. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, uh.